couple days left for Pearl Ocean Oko Season 2 drops. We got another PB with English subs. Let's check it out. She wasn't that selfish. Is, is Lolly Senpai gonna pop off? Because, like, Akane is just kind of prefacing by saying, like, Kana's like, you know, she a beta bitch. She ain't doing nothing usually. But now, is she gonna become, like, the main heroine of the show? Okay. You have talent, don't you? Mm, okay, okay, okay. So we have, you know, different models. So Akane is obviously longer hair. Kana is over here. And there's a guy that, like, Kana was kind of, like, flirting with, right? In, like, the previous trailers. Or at least, not flirting, but, like, it was direct scenes. And this isn't Aqua, right? It's a completely new character. And this guy's eyes, if you look at him, I don't know. Something about his eyes reminds me of Hoshino eye. Just because of the eye color. Ikemen? Is this guy from the previous arc? Is this one of the stupid Ikemens? Remember them? The really handsome bros that like got shit on. Right? right? Is, uh, this is a follow-up character from season 1, right? I think so? Creepy. Creepy guy. Creepy guy over there. Okay, we got another new character. Her eyes looks like a cat, okay? I have no clue what's going on with the second half of this trailer because there's so many new characters obviously and there's obviously different stuff going on uh, and there's some drama between, you know, the talented and the non-talented. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Alright, what about Ruby? Because, like, she's one of the most important characters, but, like, she's kind of benched. Well, season one, they did the idol stuff with her, but, like, season two is supposed to be a separate act play, and it's not Ruby centric, so is Ruby just gonna be benched for season two? The mom is looking milfy as all hell as usual, man. I don't know how uh, season two is gonna be received by the audience, because honestly, a lot of people were kind of quote unquote catfished by season one content, right? A lot of people felt that like season one was supposed to be a murder mystery and it's like, oh my God, I want to get to know more. And then they started to do idle stuff, which was, you know, a fundamental core of episode one, but not a lot of people kind of expected that to happen. So by the end of season one, I think a lot of people are disappointed. And now going to season two, I don't know. I feel like the Oshinoku enjoyers will still enjoy, but a lot of the tourists are probably out. It is what it is, but hey, we'll be there to cover in a couple days.